I asked you before the break if it was going to feel like a new season, but now that it's been even longer than anticipated, how much does it really feel like? It really feels like a restart. Yeah, definitely. It's been, I don't know what, it's 10, 11 days since we played a game, and it feels like a long time. So, yeah, it feels different. Uh, we, fortunately, we had, a, you know, three real good practices, and hopefully we're ready to play against a real good team tonight. You said the other day that, you know, the last 30, you want to forget them, you want to put them in the past. Mm -hmm. Is there anything from that, that, those 30 games that you do hope carries over? No, it's, I mean, we had a good record. We played well. We, for the most part, we played well. But uh, for me, you know, I get to know my players a lot better. But uh, like I said, now it's uh, it's not like it's a new team for me anymore. It's it's the Rangers. It's the team I've coached for 30 games. And you get to know your personnel a lot better. So I feel a lot better about it. You, you've, uh, you've been, let's face it, very fortunate as far as injuries. And things like that. I mean, and <laughs> striking so many teams around the league. Your numbers, as far as that's concerned, have been very low. But you are missing, you know, Lindgren tonight. Um, yeah. And uh, and I'm wondering, you know, how you do that. I mean, like he's been a very good player for you. Like, what, what do you mm -hmm. think? Uh, you know, what do you look at your, your lineup without him? Well, I'd love to have him in there, but it's like any other player, any other team in the league. You go through injuries, you go through COVID protocols, and uh, they're not there, they're not there. Another kid steps into the lineup. Uh, Lee Boy's going to play in that spot tonight, and he's played really well the last three or four games that he's played, so we're happy to have him, and he gets an opportunity. So just another opportunity for somebody else to step in and do the job until uh, Lindy gets back. How do you expect that the different defensive pairing to continue matchups? We'll find out. <laughs> no, it's it's like you said. You you know what? You're playing against a, one of the better teams in the league when they're healthy, of course, and they're pretty healthy right now. So it's going to be a, a battle. But you know what? It gives Libor a chance to go out there and do his job and show what he's made of. So he's wanted that job all year long, and he got the opportunity to go out there and play with Foxy, and uh, hopefully he plays really well. He's a good kid. He worked hard all year, and it's an opportunity. So we're we're going to match up. Uh, Gord will match up best he can, but. Again, there you're playing in the NHL. You got to if you're out against the best players in the league, be ready to play against them. It's a good challenge for them. Yeah, now with, with, with Fox, obviously, whoever plays next to Fox, that's, that's a prime spot. So mm -hmm. Why leave more as a defensive? Why not? No, I'm just asking. I'm asking you. <laughs> he deserves the chance. Okay. We don't want to mess. You know, I mean, Keandre and Trues have been a great pair yeah. for us, so we'll leave that alone. The other guys. Uh, Nils and uh, Nemo's played together, so we'll leave it alone. So you, you don't want to mess up three pairs, but you don't have to. You played Florida earlier in the year. Mm -hmm. The last couple of games, they were mixing and matching with you know, COVID and all that. Yeah. Is that what you look at, the, the earlier Panthers? Because it looked like tonight they're coming back with everybody. Yeah, no, they're going to be healthy. and uh, I mean, uh, hopefully they're a bit rusty like every other team in the league, but uh, they got their top players out tonight. They're ready to go tonight, and it'll be a battle. I mean, uh, the game against Florida, we were up 4 nothing. You know, you look back at that game and <laughs> our goal then it was incredible in that game and he had to be and uh, we held on for a 4-3 win, but uh, that's a good hockey team over there. I know a lot of their players and it's a very talented team and, uh, the, you know, we'll have to be at our best tonight. Aaron Ekblad in particular, he coached when he was a younger player. He went on the playoff run with him. Mm -hmm. Now he's one of the top point scoring defensemen in the league. So, I mean, what have you seen from him since you coached him and how do you think he's yeah, maturity. I mean, Aaron was a 18-year-old rookie when we had him, and he was a great young player at that time. But uh, his overall game is excellent. I mean, he's a top, top player in the league. His offense is real good, but it's just his overall game. With uh, you know, Rooney is also in protocol, and obviously, how tough is it to lose two of your top future guys? Yeah, no, it's never easy. But again, you adjust. You know, Kegger's going to go in that spot, and he'll kill penalties, and he's done it for a long time, and we're familiar with him, and he's familiar with our team. And then, like I said, Libor or, or uh, Nemo's going to get more PK time, and, you know, that's what they can do. Hopefully they do a good job of it.